some yarn. Any two colors will work. I have this light pink and dark pink. Um, I also have my little measuring thing. I have my yarn needle and threader as well as my scissors and my crochet hook H. I'm just going to start with a slip knot. Okay. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So let's see. I went like 17. I think 15 will do. So chain 50. Sorry, I'm writing this as I go because I really don't know. I've never made outfits before like this. So then we're going to slip stitch into the very first chain, making sure we do not twist our chain. That's very important. Okay? And there we have it. So it kind of takes it in half, as you can see. So that should fit a newborn pretty easily. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain up one and work um, one single crochet in every stitch around, including the stitch where we slip stitched, which is always such a pain in a rump to get into. Okay. And what I like to do is hide the tail as I go. So just put one single crochet in all 50 stitches around. Okay, so I've come back around. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. Which is why we single crocheted into there. Okay? So there you go. There's that round. So let's go ahead and chain one. And in the back loops only, so here's your stitch. You have front, back. We're just going to go right into the back only. And I'll show you on the next stitch because it's easier to see. Okay, so here's this, the V. Right there. We're going to only go into this part in single crochet. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to give it a little ridge in the front. See the ridge here? Just going to make it look pretty. So go ahead and single crochet back loops only for five rounds. Um, and make sure when you're slip stitching into the first um, single crochet that you're only slip stitching into the back loop. And then do your chain one and then single crochet back into that spot as well. Okay, so I just finished my slip stitch into my chain. So we're going to chain two. I'm going to put one half double crochet in every stitch around. 11 rows, one half double in every Stitch around, back loops only, please. Okay, so I'm going into my 10th row, but I wanted to show you how I've been slip stitching. Before, it didn't look very good. So what I've been doing is slip stitching right into the second chain from the chain two, just right into the middle of it, and just pulling it through like that, and then chaining my two, and then working my half double crochets in the back loops only. So this is my 10th row and we'll just go ahead and finish this row out together.
top and then you have the actual size. Now what we're going to do, going into both loops now, we're going to chain up three and we are just going to double crochet around four, nine rounds. So you're going to do nine um, total rounds of double crocheting, just like that. Um, and what this is doing is it's giving it more length, but these are the posts that we're going to go behind when we do our ruffles. So when we go to do the ruffles, we're going to insert right here. We're going to chain up, do one ruffle, go to the next one, do the next one. But the reason you're doing nine is because after you do one round of ruffles, you're going to skip the next row. The next row will stay double crochet and then you'll do your ruffles in the the, the following round after that. So we're going to do four bunches of ruffles and we need to have obviously one in between each of them. And then the fifth one is the fifth row. Since we're doing nine total, it's just going to be for stability. So I just finished my last double crochet round and I have nine of them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and into the next stitch immediately over. We're going to slip stitch. And then we are going to cut our yarn. Okay, and pull through. Okay, make sure that's nice and tight because now what we're going to do, oh my god, this is so cute. I mean, just look how cute this is. This is my pattern I'm writing. <laughs> oh, and I doctor info. So now what we're going to do is staying on the back. We're going to go back into where we made our first chain three right here. And we're going to pull that post up. Now you can either start with your light color or your darker color that you just left off on. Um, I'm actually going to start with the color I just left off. So we're going to make our slip knot. We're going to insert it there. Oop. Okay. And now we're just going to go through. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to put one double crochet in here. One. We're going to go ahead and put one double crochet in every post around this row. And what I mean is you're going to grab, so this is the row we're on, the first row here. So you're just going to grab that post, lift it up, and you're going to put a double crochet in it. Just like this. And yes, it's going to pop out. It's fine. Just make sure you're in the same row. chain three, one, two, and three. And in the chain three section, I'm going to put four more double crochets. Two, three, four. Four. 
actually going to put four because I forgot the chain one doesn't count. My bad. I'm not counting the chain one in this. So put four in every stitch around. So one, two, three, four. there's the first row so like I was saying you can see how it covers the row under here so we're just gonna skip that one and go straight into this row beneath so let's go ahead and um, tie this one off so that we can do that mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna tie off my dark pink so by doing I'm just gonna slip stitch hold on I have it backwards <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to slip stitch into the next two, and then I'm going to cut and leave a tail to weave in. Okay, so there's the first. I think it looks super cute. For reals. I'm trying to find the, <laughs> there we go, the seam. <laughs> okay. So if you want a more dramatic, like, um, look to your ruffles then just do like five to six in there because that would be fine too so we're gonna skip this row here we're gonna skip this row this next row this is where we did before so we're gonna skip here we're gonna put our hook into this loop I'm going to go ahead and grab my second color insert it on our hook Pull through, and then we're just going to chain up three, one, two, three, and we're going to put another double crochet in here because that one doesn't count. We're not going to count that as a double crochet. Okay, and then I'm just going to move along and do one double crochet in every stitch around. And I'm going to hide my tail as I go, as you can see right here. Whoopies. So just one double crochet in every stitch around. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave the tail there for now. Okay, so I'm just finishing up here. I'm almost done. And I wanted to say that if you, you don't have to do four double crochets in each of them. Um, if you want it to look more ruffles, like ruffly looking, then do the four. If you just want it to look ruffly but not so popped out, then just do three in each stitch. So I'll slip stitch into the first double crochet, slip stitch into the next section, and the one after that. Cut your yarn, pull through. Okay. So we're going to have one extra on the bottom here. So you have this one and then this one. Um, again, like I said, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Leave me a comment with what else you'd like me to make. Um, be sure to weave in your ends. They're in between. Um, here's the back. You can barely see the seam. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh.